Okay, so we're um, going to come down to the feet here with the 10 first before I move on. Just kind of grab some areas that are kind of hanging around that you missed because the 7, you know, you're not going to tell a huge difference. You, this is a 10, 10 up under the pad there and down. We're going to leave teddy bear feet. I think there was gum somewhere down in one of their feet had gum. I'm not trying to dig, but if there's a mat, I need you to get it out. Because she hates clean. Ah, 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 ah. Get all that out of there. You see? You see? Clean up that dew claw so I can see it later. It's like I'm doing scissoring, but I'm using my tin, you know what I mean? Okay, we're moving on with our tin blade. And we're gonna come and move the good dog up stand and kind of get in there and do under her tummy. Okay, let's go around this way. I started doing her tail. They had come down the tail here. I hadn't done that before. So I'm just following suit now because um, it's all bushy, you know what I mean? Growing back, so I just follow suit from the prior place that she just came from or had been going to. Come down the legs, do the top of the feet here with the 10 as well. Just as if I'm hand scissoring, that'll save me some hand scissor time later. I'm gonna clean all this up underneath here, down, down the legs with your 10. Gentle, but clean all that up where she's a female, so it's pretty matted right here. I'm gonna make sure that's clean. I'm gonna check it in a minute when, after I'm done holding her tail. Check it real good in there, make sure you know you got all that nastiness out of there. Hope you all can see. Maybe a little bit more down. Okay, you're doing good. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and scissor her tail um, down to where I know it's not in her poopies. And then we'll come brush later. Does that make sense? So let's just say she's pooping. Yep, looks good. Okay, I'm gonna scoot her over. And down her feet here. I want to say the gum is on this one. Yep. Gosh, what is that? 
Okay, I got the edges. I'll come back when I do the pads with the 40 and get the rest, I suppose. Okay. Be gentle and uh, just move your clippers, you know, kind of slow and just work with everything. Maybe I mean like not digging. Don't dig with your clippers. got a lot of skin flaps in here and mattedness so try to work that out slowly and carefully it's got some mats in there underneath her tummy and all that move all the skin flaps around Whew, it's heavy you know and I'm barely even moving anything around okay lift this leg for me Let's see what you guys are seeing here. Get mad. Let me see. Don't get mad. Let me see. Don't get mad. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Good girl. Whew, okay. I gotta come back and finish the face. I'm gonna switch to 10 blades. up for me. I'm going to move this over here. Can you look up for me? I'm going to get you guys over on the facial now. Sorry. Can you look up for me? Look up. Look up. If you're talking to the dog, um, I don't always need to talk to the dog, but if you're using those same words you've been using their whole groom lifetime with you, then they'll know what you're trying to do. It, they'll just learn it, you know, just like when you say sit, you know, so. So if you want them to do something, say it, and then every time that it happens, you know, look, there's a mole there, gotta be careful. Remember I told you don't dig, so that's awesome. <laughs> That's a little one that looks like a tick, so I need to write that one down so I don't ever take that, wipe that right off. Look up, please. That one right in my face. You okay? Come here. 
Good girl. Good girl. Let me see. Watch your skin flaps. Real light because we did a seven, but there's so such closeness with the seven and ten. Just you're kind of it's just like hand scissoring, you know, it's scissoring some stuff off here. So just real light cleaning that up. Now the head, you guys. Pads, I guess we'll do last, or we can do pad, whatever you want to do. We got pads, nails, and head left. And I've got a hair in my arm. Get out of there. I'm gonna brush her tail on back here. do her head first. I might have to do something different with the ears, but I'm going to do the head first because I want to say the ears look like they're tangled pretty good. Okay, do you see this, what we're doing? Okay. Brushing every little fine hair forward. On her, I mean, we're barely shaping the head. We usually leave it like a bush, you know, so... Floppy, long, and bushy. More of it. I got this hair. But seriously, I need to go rinse it off. In my elbow. So I'm going to lower her so she's about at a better height for me. here and work with the ears. I'm going to start in the back here. Yeah, we definitely have tangles. Lots of them. So get your dematter. Your mat tool like this, your mat breaker tool. And there's a couple things we can do. You can do this. Let's see how much time I end up spending here. If it's not that much, I can press, but if it's more more time then I might come down with my tin blade sideways. But Cynthia, I have to call her back. I'm gonna um, book this pet clicks thing and uh, I think she wants to book so that's great. Break up some of these knots here first. hair, right? I'm going to take these down shorter. I can feel that the water is um, in the ears, you know, and building up, which is why we're getting knotted down at the bottom there. So I'm going to definitely trim these. OK, 
Can you come this way? Just a little bit. She doesn't like her head or ears blow dried, so we want to finish up what we want to here in the head now before bathing, because it's not going to, uh, we're not going to do a full blow dry on the head. So much hair. Okay, let's see here. Move your head over here, please. Some ears don't smell good at all. Definitely know that there's issues there. They've been there all her life. And I've sold Mom and 